Kurov. Yo. Welcome to the Bear to GDO Full Experience Podcast. It's great to have you on. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I mean, you look great. You look like the Russian Justin Bieber right now. I love the oh, cheekbone. Thank you. I, I love, and I love the gold chain, dude. You look fantastic. Where are you right now, by the way? Uh, we're in California right now, San Clemente. San Clemente. Wow. Beach Boys living the good life. Must be nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's always been like that. I love it, dude. So, Federal, we're going to go through a bunch of stuff. I feel like you're one of the most mysterious paintball players in the world. You're you're one of the world's most best paintball players of all time, arguably. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like people don't really know you. They think you're the big bad wolf, but you're such a nice guy. I mean, you know, you got great, great bone structure. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start from the from the beginning and kind of brief everyone and get them up to date on you because literally the world needs to know your story. So, explain to me the whole Russian Legion thing. How did you start? Because that was your first pro team that we know you from. How did you start with that? How did you even get on the squad? Bro, well, um, that's a long story, actually. But since the beginning, um, I changed a lot of different sports. And... We've been in a camp with my friends, and we, we used to run in, like, 400 meters. And we just played some random tournament, and we won it. And one of the coaches seen us, uh, NASCAR coach, can we train him? Yeah. So we start training a little bit, and one of the tournament with, uh, I don't know, how, a small kids just come to the first event. Yeah, and young saw, guns. And I saw all the Russian Legion guys playing really nice and really with a huge spirit you know um and i asked one of the friends can i somehow can i jump in this team and yeah let me try to do tryouts <clears throat> so i left the camp i didn't say any anyone okay anything. i get to the tryouts and after two weeks they tell me all right you can train and you and tried out for a russian legion yes how old were you um Oh, uh, sixteen or seventeen, son. Wow. Stage, yeah. Wow, and that was it. Tried out for the team. You made it first weekend. You tried out. Uh, I has been only one day, and after they trained me like for two years, I was uh, flying with them. Ah, uh, actually, two years. I just practicing with them. So you didn't play a tournament for two years, just training. Just ran the, uh, just a small Russian tournament. Wow. Uh, so they, they just kept you in Russia and you had to train with them for two years straight. What was the training like? Like individual things like drills with the snaps, breakouts, team, teams, uh, some random drills, you know? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's full of drills because for me, it was a new one. All the drills was new. All the sport was new, you know, and I just get involved. Well, people always talk about Russian Legion being like the most craziest when it comes to the mechanics of paintball. You guys are so skilled. You're so disciplined. You treat it like a real craft. You guys are a league of your own when it came to that. Your shots were always on point. What did you guys train that made you guys so good? I mean, I know you guys aren't playing against good teams. You're in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by snow and wolves. <laughs> I mean, I know you guys only well, have... To that, that's the good point with the snow. When... Back of the days when I start playing, we have to set up the field on the snow. No. Yes. Oh, no, I don't do snow snowmobiles. No, no. No, we do. And what we do is we set up the field maybe one hour. We warm up with the football for soccer. I mean, yeah. Uh, after we have to get into the car, get a little bit warm up, warm our guns, play a couple points. You're going to warm up your guns in the car? Yeah, because they was frozen. But <laughs> we cannot shoot. And this is totally true. You can ask me. This is crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. So, and after we play a couple points, we have to get in the car, get warm up again. You uh, guys have to warm up during the middle of practice in the car. Right, right. Because <laughs> what kind of car are you driving? A Benz, SL500, BMW? Back in the days, I drive in the bus. The bus. I love it. I love it. So you guys were Greyhound boys. I love it. Yeah. I love it. So now you're playing in the snow. You guys are just drilling. What was it so? What what made the Russian Legion camp so crazy? Because when you guys came over to the U.S., you guys were robots. You were machines. No one talked. You smoked cigarettes, like Oliver said. You guys drank <laughs> Russian vodka. You guys, you guys just did not speak to anyone at the event. I remember trying to talk to you, and I thought you were gonna kill me just with your eyes. Thought you were like an X Men. 
Like you guys were so disciplined, even the way you guys walked around the field, you, no one even wanted to talk to you. What did you guys do so well at practice that made you guys these machines? Well, back of the days, we have a system and we have a couple coaches, which is everyone work with everyone. Okay. All, all the players help each other, especially I have, because I jump in the Russian Legion and all the players was um, 10 years old, older than me. Older than you. Yeah. And they really helped me. Got it. And the team spirit was really good. Got it. Um, and also, the skills, because we spent, in those days, we spent like three to five days of practice of all the drills. Just paintball or fitness too? Uh, it's both, because Bo we have indoor drills, we use mirrors. Yeah. Uh, mirrors the, uh, mirrors outfit. what are you doing with mirrors like looking at your outfits nah, <laughs> no like what what, what the, what's the mirrors because i played with you too you guys were fantastic i learned a lot from you guys just from the short time i played with you i never played with mirrors though but what do you mean when you mean mirrors like that's crazy well you practice your uh, snapshot wow so you guys did like shadow boxing but shadow paintball just practice no, shoot any paint indoor with, with the mirrors we just uh make a movement wow so your muscles can um Russian can ninjas. Remember. Yeah, muscle muscle memory, Russian ninjas. We yeah, love it. Now is there <laughs> vodka involved with this or no? This is strictly practice. Well, of course yes. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. So the dynamic with the team, you've always been the friendliest to me. You and Mishka, I love you guys. Sergey too. What was the dynamic? You grew up with these guys, you met them. Cause I heard Mishka lives in like a cave in Siberia and he has to like what like I don't know, that's just what I heard. You have to debunk the myth. Like, I don't know. Uh, well, no and yes. Okay. You can mad them sometimes, but uh, uh, I don't know what to say. You, you know? grew, like, but did you meet them on the team or did you grow up I, with them? I met all the guys in the team. For me, it was all, all the guys was in you and they treat me well. And I just feel like I have... Everyone around me, and they grow me, and they help me. They help me mentally bring it into the game. They help me pretty much with everything. Yeah. So learn everything uh, from a everyone of them. Was Mishka and Sergey already on the team? No, Mishka already played with them. I hope I, might be one year already. Got it. Uh, Sergey, I've I've bring Sergey in two thousand. Four, five, something like that. And I trained him for six months. Six months before he came. So in six months, he learns the game, comes on the Russian Legion and kills it. I train him one-on-one. -on -one. So I take my time and I train him because he really, really wants to play. And after six months, maybe maybe a little bit less, uh, I tell coaches so he can ready to go. Wow. He can ready to go. And they tell wow. me, let, let us train him. A little bit more, and we'll see how it goes. Love so that. So after some time, he jumped in a team, and I left to Philly. That's it. So he came on the team. You trained him for six months, and then you made that big move when you went to Philadelphia All Americans. Right now, you go to Philadelphia All Americans. You're one of the first international players coming over here. Besides the Joy Division guys, you were like a real machine. Those guys were like models, crushing it. Shout out to Alex Lundquist. But you come over here. You're like the machine now. But you could only play in the NXL. What was that like? Like, what did they do? They locked you out? Because <laughs> we never saw you playing in any other leagues except NXL during that first year. No, we play uh, European NXL league. Oh, you did. So you played in other leagues in Europe. Right. So, uh, uh, I'm not remember what year it was, but we have kind of show up tournament versus all Americans kind of mixing between. All American Strange and Trauma. Okay. And we play versus them. Got it. It's like a show up for everyone. Like an and exhibit, Europe yeah. Versus, yeah, Europe versus America. Wow, that, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know that. When you came to Philly, was it a money deal, or you were tired of the Russians at that time? Well, it's yes and no, because when I grow up with Russian Legion, they all were saying that. Uh, Americans has a different experience. Like what? Like, we suck. We're fun. No, no, no. They just have a 
literal. Oh, okay. Paintball. Yeah. You or some. No, I get it. Like that's why paintball's I on a different to... level. I get it. Yeah. Right. So that's why I'm looking forward to make some more experience to grow up with different. Um, yeah, it's a big risk. Yeah, no, I. Wh- a big wh- risk, but it, I mean, whatever I do, I try to build something. You know, I lo- we, we could see that you put every you put your you're like you're like the Russian Oliver. You know what I'm saying? You put every every <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shout to Oliver too. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Oliver. You you put everything everything you have into it, and we've seen that. When you first came to Philly, did you live? We heard you lived like in a, in a in a basement, Tim Montressor's garage or something. What was the oh, move? No, 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 no. It was it was uh, it was a team house. Uh, oh, you lived in the team house. Yeah. So parties was, every night or what? Huh? Parties every night. Used to yes, like three four days a week we we go to the bar. We we'll learn. Uh, they teach me learn English, <laughs> and that was experience in the bar because it's down down the street and and we we just walk there. So team house, who'd you live with? Team Montresor, uh, Mike Tarzan, Fetty. And some of the guys come and just stay with us for got a it. Days. Got it. Was it fun though? You enjoyed it? Well, uh, that was yeah. It, it's a lot of fun because for me it's huge experience. Plus, I have fun with foreign people. Yeah, it is cool. And you were making money. You were making money. Well, somehow getting yes. paid the big bucks, doing it big. Okay, well, that was a big move. Uh, like no, you, you you set precedent for getting Europeans. Russians, uh, uh, international players coming to the U.S. You were the first to kind of lay the foundation on how to do it. You paved the pathway for players, and you kind of paved the way for American teams to do it. In, in that, on its own, you know, is is a salute to you because you took the jump, you took the leap of faith, you left your team. It was it was an amazing time in paintball when you did do that because you brought competition to a whole new level. You were the ninja; no one knew who you were. You were mysterious, vague, yet interesting at the same time. Coaches. We do want to know this, though, coach-wise on, on Russian Legion, because I played with the Russian Legion towards your ending of it when I played with you, and playing with you was always, like, an amazing experience. You're an amazing paintball player. You understand the game on a different level as well. You understand the body, the way you guys took care of yourself. What's the Russian Legion training like, What the coaches and the staff? Everyone's always trying to figure it out. Like, why were you guys so good in terms of staff? Did they have a bunch of coaches? Everyone had their own coach? What was it? <laughs> So, uh, at the beginning, it was, uh, so one of the coaches called for fitness, another one for the, uh, for your personal skill, the third one for uh, vision. Wow. Of vision. Team. Vision. Yeah. Like what? Well, when I get involved into the European tournaments, I'm not playing first year. I was flying with them. I draw all the game plans. I walk with the team on the field. I have to remember all the angles, every single spot. It's a lot of things. It's small things make a big, big picture. Yeah. And um, so all the coaches really like their job. Yeah. To build something with the players. And plus the owner of the team, he used to... Uh, uh, practice with us and he watching for each of player and tell him what to uh, work better you know so if he's seen some weak part uh, some weak side of the players yeah he at the end of the practice he telling us okay this one bad you have to work on this one more checking everything yes 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 checks and balances yeah because he's the owner of bank and he know how he can bring system in the right spot. Got it. So the, the bank owner knows how to run the bank. He knows how to run a team. He knows how to run a business, and the team's a business. Let's get well, it popping. you can see he built a team, and we won a lot of trophies with that back in the day. Oh, we saw you win. You guys were out here putting work on people. Don't worry about that. You don't ever got to say that, bro. We know the Russians were wild. That's why I wanted to play with you guys so bad as a little kid. <laughs> and, and then when I did it, I said, hey, I did it, and I quit. I don't know why I did that, but things happen like that. Why did you leave Russian Legion? You're at the height of your game. You're unstoppable. It seems like you and Mishka, you guys decided to just leave. Or what happened? Was there some sort of conflict? Or 
who who left? Was it Mishka's idea, your idea, uh, Malloy's idea? What happened? Well, you know, when I first time left Philadelphia America, uh, Russian Legion to Philly, it was my dream to jump in the American squad and have this experience. Got it. After two years, I played with them. Russian Legion changed coach, and this coach wants me to back. Got it. Well, I I get back and I thought some some maybe something changed. Got you it. Know? And I play one more year, nothing will change, and I have another another offer by Sarge. Got it. He called me on the Skype, and I didn't know who who he was. You know? Got it. He could tell me you want to make a deal, you want to build a team, and uh, do I know you? Got it. It's strange. You you call me on Skype and tell me these things. And after I find out them, yeah, they tell me who I am and everything just rolling. Got it. And this this is this is it. So Sarge hits you up and says, "Hey, I want you to help me build a team, Houston Heat, and get any players you want." And you get Mishka, Sergey. You guys come over here. No, he just uh, asked me what players you can bring it, and I tell him so I can I can talk with the guys. At least two of them might be want to make this experience with me, and. We made decision with Sergey and Mishka. And you guys came over together. And how, how long have you guys been playing together since? Do you know how many years? Mishka, I play since 2001. Okay. With Sergey, since I trained him, it was 2004. But me and Sergey, we we know each other. Maybe this. We live in, in one small town. Got it. Where but where is that town located? Transylvania? What mountains? Siberia? Like Russia? It's uh, far away from Moscow. Far away from Moscow. So we can't even know. Undisclosed location. Russian. Still mysterious. Twenty years later. It, it was a small town. It's a military town. Oh wow! Love it. So you guys are definitely some sort of alien experiments, and that's why you guys are so fast. But we're not even going to get into that because we don't even want to know. Now here's the next thing. Everyone knows. You were like the face of Russian Legion. And I'm sure there was a lot of coaches. I, I I see maybe you weren't having fun with it. You were tired of it. That's why you wanted to do the heat thing. What was the dynamic like with you, Kirill, Malloy, the, the other Russians that are still very well and very good in paintball, but didn't come over with you? What was your relationship with them in terms of when you left? Mm, I would. Rather to not say anything. Okay. But in touch some, sometimes we talk. Okay. So, so, but are you still friends with them or no? I didn't say this is big friendship. So it's like big friendship means what in Russia? Like we only drink vodka together or like what's big friendship? No, you know, when you trust people or not. Oh, got it, got it. So something happened, but we'll talk about that later. True. So you wouldn't even let them be like your pit staff at World Cup. Like, nah, you're out the pit. <laughs> so you're not trusting them with filling your pods. Nah, it's not that. It's not that bad. Okay. Now, when you guys go back to Russia, you have bodyguards or something? Like, is it safe? What's it like when you guys were training with the team? Because I heard all kinds of craziness. People getting kidnapped. Mishka was saving people one night. Like, what's what's that like? What's the dynamic growing up in Russia playing paintball? Uh, right now, it's real safe. It's safe? Yeah. In the old days, like, well, now Trump's in office and Putin and everyone's going wild. You guys hacked our elections. You guys are constantly doing well, things. Is happening in any country, right? No, we get it. But you guys out there hacking our Twitter, like we understand what you're about, but it's okay. I'm not going to blame you, but we know what you guys do. Okay. The dynasty feud, Fedorov. This is like the craziest feud ever to go down in paintball. Believe me. When you and Russian Legion were stomping on dynasty at Nemecolins and dynasty couldn't figure it out and you guys won. Maximus Lundquist running around the field. You know, Russian Legion beats the USA. Dynasty was representing us. You guys were like representing you over there. It was like, you know, Apollo and Creed, the whole deal. Like everyone's going nuts. What was that like playing against Dynasty and that whole feud going crazy during those years? Well, for me, when I start playing, Dynasty already been born. Got it. Kind of champions. Got it. They already won those trophies. So you're already looking at them like they were the best. I were, I, to be honest, I, every single time I want them to play, you know, versus them. Got it. Every tournament when I uh, 
go with Russian Legion. Got it. I want to play with Dynasty because they they really had they, they were really young okay. in that teams and they were really dynamic. And I kind of picking some stuff from them too. You learn from them. I mean, yeah, because I'm watching a lot of teams. Okay. Like Strange, like Dynasty. Okay. So I just look at them how they play and how they communicate. Oh, I love that. And and you took a little bit of that style, you brought it back to Russia to teach Sergey, teach your guys, or was it just you? I don't know. I just pick in that stuff. I, I just remember that and I just keep going and going. Got it. Now, what was it like when that whole feud was going on where you guys beat them, you were the first time, and then Dynasty came back the next event, there was chaos going on on the sidelines. I remember, like, we were about to squad up. Like, I was on the side ready to, like, throw hands. Like, I saw a bunch of Russians coming at me, smoking marbles. They were big. They were scary. I said, yo, I'm short and sturdy, but I'm fat. You know, I was young. I was fat. I didn't have size like I do have. What was that like? Were you guys scared coming over to the U.S. events? Or was it like, yo, this is just paintball? Or was it more than paintball to you? No, we, to be honest, we want to go to the U.S. Oh, so you were like, let's rumble in the jungle. Yeah. Yeah. Versus Dynasty, it's been, I am always like to play with them. Yeah. Because this is always battle. It's not just, you know, whatever, we lost or win. No, that's always been battle versus five of them, one on one, one on two, whatever. Yeah. But, yeah. And I like that. So you it's love really you, the, the competition. competition, the competition yeah. against them. Yeah. It was always the best. Were they the best team you ever played against? I would say yes, because they have really good uh, communication inside the field and outside also. Got That's it. In, in terms of like teamwork and being friendship and, and, that, and that style. We talked to Oliver a little bit about that too. Fedorov, one more question. Everyone knows the rules. Who do you think the best paintball player in the world is? And include I, yourself if you think it's you. I just want to know from your thought process and why. Uh, you know, every single year, the pain will change. Okay. You know? And every single player can step up. Okay. What, what I, right now, I'm looking for certain players like Kyle Spica, Alex Goldman, um, Nate Schroeder. Okay. From, uh, Uprising. Okay. He, to infamous right now yeah but show up uh, last year really good okay and I think he have a future yeah and also um brian greenspan you think so, he's still good he's still good yeah i like i like yeah because uh, he's old. He's old. He's not like you. He's not young. He's not. He's. I mean, he's still as sharp as Provolone. The guy can still move. He's a gazelle. But I mean, he's not you. <laughs> you were like a cheetah. You know. Yeah, but you were a cheetah. You're flexible. You know what I'm saying? You could do things I'd never seen people do. You run low to the ground. I swear to God, you were hovering. I swear to God, I thought you and Russians invented something in your cleats because you guys would hover over the field. Don't lie to me. Did you guys hover over the field? I swear to God, you guys were doing something wild back then. Yeah, you're well, we're doing laughing. something, but I can tell you this is, it's secrets, you know? Yeah, we've been watching Icarus on Netflix. We know how the Russians get down. So <laughs> playing with the Russian Legion, we know about J-Rab. We know about Mishka, Malloy, Kirill, whether or not you have a relationship with those guys anymore. What was it like playing with those guys at the time of the Russians winning everything? Do you feel like you guys were the best in the world at that time? Do you still feel like J-Rab is as good as he was when he was on Russian Legion? Well, I couldn't say about one player because when we play with that squad, it was different because everyone understand everyone, you know? Yeah, their roles. And we can read the body language without the words. Okay. If so, that I would say yes, we're feeling like we can beat everyone like, like we did with our chaos also. Got it. Yeah, well, our chaos is a whole nother story. You guys wipe the floor with people. I don't think... Did you guys lose any tournaments? Well, mm, I don't... Yes. Which tournament did our chaos ever lose? We lost Dynasty. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, we lost them. Um, but we are... Take the World Cup. Versus Impact, I guess. Yeah, you guys were unstoppable for a minute. Why did that fall apart? Why did that fall apart? Why did our chaos fall apart? 
Well, the owner just decided to not stay with Paintball. Okay. He was over so, it. Yeah, I mean, for him, it was fun. He liked to bring us to the field and hang out with us. Um, it's kind of experience for him. Yeah. How many How many events did you play with our chaos? How many seasons? With, with our chaos? Yeah. Um, it depends because Mishka play with them more than me. Got I it. play one year, big year with them. Yeah, I remember that year I was commentating in Europe. It was wild. Well, I'm not good at that. Nah, <laughs> I'm we, just trying. We, we remember you guys winning a lot of events with them too. So now moving on, now you're with Heat. What's the what's the relationship? You've been on Heat for a few years now. Where do you feel you guys stand? Are you guys getting better? Are you complacent? Do you feel like you have a, as, a, as a person have been getting better? What do you feel like? I feel like we're still in process and we have to work uh, on – a lot of things. What like what? Break it down. Uh, we have to work. Uh, um, I don't know. So some of the guys needs to work a little bit more of the skill, personal skill. Okay. Some that uh, needs to little try to play a little bit aggressive. Another guys needs to be. It's a lot of things. I, I just can. Do I you can, feel like can tell you right now everything because yeah, you, you're taking all the things. Step by step, you Got can it. see every single practice what we have to work on. Got it. So what we're trying to do. When you say personal skill, you mean the paintball mechanics, like the fundamentals of paintball? You still think players at your level need to be working on that? Well, I still work on my stuff because if I will not go into work, I'll be somewhere on a semi-pro or maybe. Oof, <laughs> don't do it to me. Don't. If you ever play semi-pro, retire, please. <laughs> go out no, but if i will not practice my my own skill i'll be there got it right got it yeah no i get it now in terms of heat you guys think you know you guys lose a lot of players or you trade a lot of players you pick up a lot of players kind of like the way you guys move around your rosters you think it's been healthy for the team that much movement i would say no no and in terms of you being Russian and not being like always in the U.S. and having to fly back and forth and whatnot, you you think that you as a player, it's been a lot on your body or are you happy with the travel? Like, what's that been like? It's something I don't think most players deal with. You travel around the world probably every weekend. Uh, that, it's hard, but already flying at least 17 years, so I've I pretty much you're practically an airplane you. yeah yeah you're practically flying yourself you know i get it i traveled a lot too international events federal like versus u.s events is russia better paintball than the u.s no 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 it's not even close it's a lot of politics stuff going on plus america have uh, better economics so. land of the free welcome my friend <laughs> america in terms of Russia, though, do you enjoy still playing back in Russia or working with your Russian team? Do you still talk to them? What's the communication like? Because you're probably the biggest name ever to come out of there. I mean, respectfully, I know Malloy is great. I know Kirill's great. I know Mishka's great. But what you did was on such another level. I have so much respect for you, the game you play. What's your relationship like back home, though, with the, the camps, the training, the kids? You still work with them? I mean, I'm sure you're still the biggest name ever to come out of Russia. Uh, no, I, I did not work with any kids right now because all the teams, uh, they build up. They didn't practice a lot of time. They didn't looking for a win with a big events. Got it. They just yeah. want to play and have fun. It's not like the old days. They just picking players who, who retired and that's it. Got it. But at the same time, some of them trying to do something, but we don't have a lot of uh, high level players. Got it. All players right now in Russia, this is Russian Legion. Got Us it. three, we travel a lot. We spend a lot of time in Europe and America. So when we're back there, sometimes we'll help people, but most of the time we're not there. So what's your personal life like? Are you married? Do you still live in Russia? What's going on with you? Yeah, I'm married, but I flip back and forth between Moscow and Ukraine and America. So it's kind of complicating. Okay. I'm working on it. No, I know. I love that. And you're always working on your game. You're obviously always working on your fitness. Your skin looks tight, bright, and vibrant. It's amazing. Your hair needs some men grooming coat. 
one, work on me. one more question. Everyone knows the rules. Kyle Spica, Brandon Short. Who's better snake player? Kyle Spica. Really? Why is that? Because he played with you or what? He's small. He's quick. He's small. So he's what? Frodo Baggins small? When you say small, what do you mean small? Like Hobbit he's small? Smart. Oh, he's, he's short. Smart. Short. Wait. Okay. No problem. Keep it going. Uh, I just like his game, game, um, game focus, you know, how he do this stuff. And I also play with him and I know his passion. Got he it. He feel really good and and he feel in the team. Got it. He'll be one of the best players. Got it. And and do you think right now in the game, Brandon Short just doesn't have it anymore? He's losing something, but I don't know exactly what it is. So speed or, or old or heart, you you can't pinpoint it, but he lost something, you think, a little touch. I don't know. He just you you can see just how he play Got it. and his language. What what is it that you look for a player when you see him? Because your eyes are so much different than our American eyes in terms of the players and what we see every weekend. When you look at the game, you look at it so differently the way you were brought up. What is it that you look at when you're on the field in terms of the players, in terms of where you're going to play on the field? How do you dissect that? What do you mean? Uh, like like the way you play the game is so much more different compared to us. You're, you're so much more disciplined in terms of the American street ball style, that West Coast ball where everyone's lawless and going crazy. You're so much more controlled. What is it about the game? How do you look at it like that? I didn't say I'm <laughs> I'm controlled because I'm a 50-50 player. Okay. Because I like aggression and I like to uh, help in – well, it depends where I play back uh, on the back line or on the front. Where do you enjoy playing? It depends what coach me to play. Go. Oh, so the coach decides where you go, you go. Yeah. You. But what do you enjoy playing the most, you personally? I like the freedom. Freedom. So you just want to roam, roam around the field like a majestic no, Russian I antelope. Like freedom, but I like smart freedom, so I can help. Uh, smart freedom. Whatever I need it. I love it. Smart freedom. But you enjoy just running down the field and shooting people in the back of the head, splitting wigs open. Like you like when you shoot Ryan Greenspan, he walks to the dead box. He says, I'm out. Like you like that. <laughs> Everybody like them. Yeah. He shoots more, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. But that's what you like. No, there's no problem with that. I mean, I love shooting Ryan Greenspan. By the way, I'm going to just let you know, I tossed him in a gear bag, zipped it up and rolled him down the hill. We're not going to get into it, but I'm going to let you know I did that for you because I know you don't like Ryan Greenspan. Um <laughs> <laughs> Oliver Lang, what's your thoughts on Oliver Lang? The greatest to ever play, in my opinion. Hopefully that doesn't make you upset. I know you're great. Don't get mad. I'm just passing on the word. The guy's the Michael Jordan of the game. What is your thoughts on Oliver Lang? You played against him for years. Well, I would like if he's back. If, if he's coming back. He's in Peru me. or Bali. He's chasing frogs, climbing trees, finding his soul. He ain't coming back. I and, know, but, you know, so all the media make this competition between me and him all the time yeah they always try in, in, in charge it. yeah so so did you did you enjoy kept, playing against him was he as good as everyone says or what's your thoughts on his play style because for years it was yeah. it was federal versus oliver it was russia versus usa it was russian legion versus dynasty it was always you versus him in a way you know this is all over the sport you can see right now in, in soccer live you can see the media make competition between Ronaldo and Messi. Yeah. And any other sport. When it's back of the days, Jordan versus... No, I yeah, know. we get it. But I'm saying you as a player, what was it like going against him? It's competition, eyes to eyes, you know? Yeah. How you can break each other. Yeah. And this has always been different because he have a different view, I have a different view, and we... I just like to watch how he using the field, how he using the small spots, well, like timing, you know, it, and it's been always competition and it's been always to play. I mean, always been great to play versus him. What did you feel your skill level was at? And you could be honest, this is a Bear to GDO full experience podcast. You think you were better than him, the same or less? I can say somebody better because it's always competition between it's a team sport. I can say like yeah. one better than. Uh, okay, so best I two. Say I'm, I'm like, Don't like, worry, you can get loud, rugged, and raw. If it's a best two out of three, one on one. I'd like to be honest with you. Be and, honest. Like, That's why we love you. You're adorable. No, <laughs> listen. Best two out of three. Who wins in a one on one? You or Oliver? Tight. <laughs> 
Okay, we go to sudden death, hopper ball only. Who wins? Oh, you would win. I love it. At least you're confident about that, bro. Don't ever lose that. Yeah, hey, don't ever lose that. At least you're confident. If he ever comes back out of retirement, we'll do you versus him in a one-on-one. We'll see who wins. Okay, one more question. Everyone knows the rules. Fedorov, you are the man. I know it's late. You stayed up late for this. It's amazing. Your eyes look tired. You better get some good sleep. Drink some juice. Don't let me tell on Sarge. I don't want to get you in trouble. What's your <laughs> thoughts going into this season? What Houston Heat, you as a player, what are you feeling like? Uh, we're trying to do our best, but... No, don't, don't give me the PG version. Tell me how you feel, dude. Try to do our best. Sounds like a Disney Channel movie. Uh, I feel like we're doing it. You're doing it. So you're coming for gold this year. I love that. Listen, I know the English... I'm coming is... not just for the tournament. I'm coming for a win, and that's the thing. Yeah. And what about Mishka, Sergei, the rest of your Russian bunch... Are you guys still excited about paintball? You still loving it? You still playing, enjoying it? Or are you tired of it? Getting tired of it? If I'm not exciting, I'll be quick. That's it. That's how you feel, huh? How many more years you th- you think you're still going to be playing for? Until I die. <laughs> oh, you enjoy playing this. This is what you love. Yeah, I love it. You- I mean, I still think uh, butterflies in my stomach like 10 seconds before the game. Really? You still get them, huh? I will help you with that. I have a formula... But don't worry, we'll talk about that later privately. I know how you guys operate. Believe me, I know how I know how you get down. Your worry is fun. In terms of Mishka and Sergey, what's the relationship like? Best friends, tired of each other. I mean, you guys have like that dynasty where you've been together for so long. Uh, we're still the same. We're helping each other if you need it, and we're still friends. So Mishka get his private life with the kids and everything. So Sergey get involved in that. So they're probably waiting on me. <laughs> I love it. Is Ser- Sergey has kids too? Yeah. Oh, so one. No. Twin girls and one boy. So everyone's just having babies popping out left and right. Y'all Russians are getting butt, dude. Who knows what y'all are eating? Y'all- I guess Sergey growing some like rainbow squad. What do you mean? <laughs> Three kids, bro. He has his own five man squad. It's cool. We'll put him in the Russian ice ball league. We'll see how they do. <laughs> Who who's your roommates? Like, what's going on over there at the beach? Is it just you in this room? Yeah, just right now it's me. And uh, you I'm and Ronya living to, uh, together. Okay, so he gives you your own room. Like, no one go in Federal's room. Like, that's his room. Like, leave him alone. No, we're sharing your room. No okay, cool. But it's a team house. You guys are all together right now. Uh, we have a two houses. So one uh, half team lives down the street, and half half of us here. Cool. So you got, but you, it's like, yo, that's one part of the team. This is one part of the team, or they mix it up. No, we just don't have enough space to. Keep. Okay, so there's no diver. It's not like, oh, the Russians they get their own house. Like we don't want to sleep no, with them. No. 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 So there's nothing like that, right? Okay, cool. No, I just want to make sure. You never know. I just want to make sure. So <laughs> listen, NXL's this weekend, right? Yeah. Are you ready? You mentally ready? You physically ready? Like you look great. I see the tank top. You got a gold chain on. Obviously, things are going great. You're buying jewelry. Like, what are your feelings like going into this weekend? Is Impact the team to beat? Is Dynasty thing still strong? Give us your point of view. I don't know about them, but I, I feel, I feel pretty much good about myself and my guys. So. Oh, so you're focused. Yeah. And any big pickups? Anything new that you guys did this year? Like any new training? I heard you guys. I didn't change anything. No. With the same squad. Okay, so that's it. Like, yo, we're riding this out this season. Let's get this popping. Right. No, I love it. I saw you guys cooking some food. I saw you guys pouring some stuff in it, powders. I don't know what type of powder. I don't know what type of food you were making, but it was crazy. I saw foil exploding. What do you guys eat nightly over there at the house? The house looks crazy. Well, it's always different, but... We'll- oh, it's always different. Buffet every night, huh? It must be nice. <laughs> we're cooking ourselves because Mama G left it. She You're cooking yourself. Her- so what is that? Lunchables and macaroni or filet no, mignon? No, Mishka did it some fish for us. Okay. Before, Mishka uh, cooks? Yeah. Really? He, he have two kids. He, he must do it. Well, I don't know. I don't have kids. I got a hamster and a pet Senor Churro bear that I chase around my neighborhood. Uh, at least you get to give him some food, right? Yeah, I love it. So what do you eat getting ready for the league? Do you get like crazy diet, like Russian diet? Like, yo, I heard the stone diet. Like you guys only eat rocks or something. It's just what I heard. I don't know if it's true. It's the Bear Digital Full Experience <laughs> podcast. Like you guys eat stone or something. Like stay I strong. I can tell you what guys eating. It's pretty much everything, but... I tried to stay with mine because I have a uh, uh, coach. He tried to tell me what I have to pick it before event. But oh, like I, a diet coach? Yeah. A Russian or American one? 
No, Russian. Oh, so he's he's another one. Yeah, another one work on my CrossFit stuff. And oh, so you still have your own personal coaches? Yeah. So one for diet, one for CrossFit, and CrossFit. Yeah. They are my friends, but at the same time they coach me. Got it. And you're staying in shape in the off season. Yeah, I it's, love it. So you've love been it. you've been in shape all off season. I mean, you look great. I mean, it looks like you're ready. I'm excited for you. I wish you the best of luck. I appreciate you being on the Better GDO Food Sponsors Con- Food Experience Podcast. Listen, I had a great time playing with you. I know you're great. I know you're a legend. You're gonna go down in history as one of the best players of all time. Don't worry about that. But worry about winning this season. Stay focused. You know what I'm saying? I'm uh, speaking yeah. from one friend to another. You can do it. You got to keep your team focused. As for Yaya, I'm not sure what's going on over there. I hope that you guys can guide each other to the greatness, bring each other to the top. But I don't know what type of five man, five man you got going on in this. You know what I'm saying? I don't know your starting line. I am not going to get into this. One last question. Everyone knows the rules. Who's the best five players you think if you had to choose a five man squad, all star squad? <laughs> you can include yourself. Uh, you mean this year or overall? All overall. I will pick, I will pick, let me guess. Let's go with Greenspan, myself, Mishka, Oliver, and who do you think? Uh, and listen, it's your starting five. People are going to judge you on this. They're going to rate your intelligence off this. Do not blow it. <laughs> <laughs> I already got four. So let me guess what I have. Goldman. Goldman. That's it. So all all players basically from this and last generation. Not only five. I'll, I'll pick up Spica for six one because I need two players. Really? Yeah. Really? So Spica you consider top six. So he still gets a little love. We heard Spica wasn't ready. Goldman said he wasn't ready. Who? Spica or Goldman? Goldman said that Spica doesn't have enough experience. What's your thoughts on that? Well, Spica needs the team. Got it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Spica needs the morale behind him to pump him up or else he gets in a slump. The guy's got to eat a Snickers and turn into a monster. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, right. Listen, dude, I appreciate you being on this. I know you got to go to bed before they come do some Russian stuff to you and tie you up and not interrogate you for why you're not sleeping. I hope it's not past your curfew. I always appreciate you. You're great. I hope players really do watch you this season in all honesty and learn from you while you still play. Well, they have that experience and don't take it for granted because you have a lot you could show to these kids into the game. You've already showed us so much as far as discipline and putting heart into the game. So we do appreciate you. Thank you for being on this. Thank you, Bear. You're the man, dude. All right.